Are we going to build this acne? You know it may be scoffing, isn't it? And soon all these things will be done on. Let's see what Noah did. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. Uh, we'll, we'll just read verse 7. It says, okay, say yes. Stand up and read. Yes. By faith, Noah, mm -hmm. being warned of God of things not seen as yet, mm -hmm. moved with fear, prepared mm -hmm. an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of, of the righteousness which is by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have we been warned? Yes. Have we built an ark? Mm -hmm. Spiritually, yes. But physically not. Mm -hmm. You know, seven that went is we be told the mark of the beast. We'll say no. But because of lack of physical building, the spiritual, yes, we've we've tried our level best, isn't it? But the spiritual is um, is lacking. What is what, what 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 is missing? What do you think is missing? You know, when we see as we are iron sharpening iron, I don't think there's maybe one or two, but most of us. Are people believe will believe presently, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What is missing? Let's see. First, we need to understand what? The time. The time. Then comes the what? Have we understood the time? Yes. Have we understood the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what has happened to the blueprint? When when when, when Moses was building the, the, the tabernacle or the what? The sanctuary, isn't it? Was he given a blueprint? Yes. Mm. Have we been given a blueprint yes. for building an ark? Yes. Have we built the ark? <coughs> so meaning that most of us, I included, we are going to do what? Get lost if we are not going to do what? Yes. To build an ark. So for the time we know there's a limit, isn't it? Meaning that there's no time. And the blueprint tells us what? How to, to build. Now let's ask, let's see, what is the greatest hindrance? To the advancement and finishing the work. Lack of what? Yeah. What do we need if we want to do to finish is what? We have what? Unity. You see, this is the day and time everyone wants to start a ministry. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to work alone. Isn't it? And uh, the Tower of Babel could have been as much as it was evil. Did it have unity? Yes. It had. But in the wrong way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do people of the world have unity? Everything is going unity. Companies are marching, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Even women, I see they have charmers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They see they can't make it alone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everywhere in the world, the world is united. But the Seventh day Adventist Church is what do you want? Do you know if there's ever a church that has many offshoot branches, Seventh day Adventist? Do you have Catholic offshoot church? Or mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Even a few. Mm -hmm. But Seventh day, do you know if we have over 300 churches? Over 300. Different sex of seven days. In fact, it's the highest. Do you have Muslim offshoot churches? Where if they live there, there may be one or two, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So meaning that we lack what? Unity. Mm -hmm. And the devil is attacking. Revelation what? 12 verse? 17, 17 isn't it? Mm -hmm. The devil is at work. Now, Ellen White tells us this, that we are living in a time when what? Every wind of doctrine is blowing. And when those who think they can stand are liable to do it, for this good, you know, I, I thought of starting. I could have started somewhere how to build. But again, it's good to focus. Why are we not building? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's good sometimes when you do something, we look back, we see what is happening. It says, we are living in a time when Satan is striving to do what? To implant seeds of skepticism and what? Infidelity in every mind. We are living in a time when error is taught so insidiously that the faith of men is doing what? Yeah. Being an Amai. Do we have error in the church? Yes. A yes. lot in our church, isn't it? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing as a church when we're here? When we see error in the church, what do we do? Do we say and care we blame the woman? When a sermon is preached and um, the preacher gets so boring that you even feel like a... Uh, 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 just going out and go. What do we do? Do we condemn? What do we do? Most of us, seven day Adventists, we talk about them, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do we pray about it? What have we done? What did Elijah do when he saw apostates in Israel? 
the dish condemned her. He started what? The school of prophets, isn't it? Yes. Did he form another church, another group, or did he, did he unite so that he can be able to educate others? Did he condemn? No, he did what? He educated. Now, let's, let's see the condition of the church. This is faith, uh, faith I live by, page 282, paragraph 2 and 3. It says, for God, God has what? A church upon the earth who are his what? Chosen people who keep his commandments. He's leading no what? Stray offshoot. So don't, you know sometimes we might be called an offshoot. God never leads an offshoot. Amen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the world may see us, the people of the world may see. He says, not one here, not one there, but a people, there is need to do what? Not, no need to doubt, to be fearful that the work will not succeed. God is at what? Okay. The head of the world. He will do what? He will set things in order. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you. The work is going to the Gentiles. You know, last week we were brother Edward. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters. People are giving land and land and land. In fact, the people, I, I, I thought they were opposed. They ended up open. Like now, I'll give you an example. When we were there, we finished the, the, the we taught, you know, there were doctors. You know, sometimes we see the doctors can never understand medical mission, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, after the, the end of the day, the pastors, the pastor was there, they gave out to Nairobi station to be taught him. Now who's going to teach? It is us, isn't it? Yeah. Are we being given these chances? How do we present our message? How do we, how, how do we, how do we interact with the people of the world who we see as lost? We see them as what? We see that the work is falling, isn't it? When we see a lot of things coming to the church, let me tell you, God is taking the reins. If you see the example of Noah, of, of Moses, who knew that who knew that Caleb was on? The, did, did, was Caleb in the scene when they started the journey? Was Joshua in the scene? What happened? Did they lead them to the promised land? You know, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, God is going to use the weakest to finish his work. You know that? And most of us may not be part of the team. Because the ones who are, who are getting now the message, they're being they are doing what? They're embracing it with what? With a lot of zeal. And do what? I'll sift Babylon, isn't it? House of Israel. Where is House of Israel? The Church of God, isn't it? Among all the nations, as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth? The great issue is so near at hand, we will weed out those whom God has not appointed, and we we'll have a what? A pure, true, sanctified ministry prepared for the latter end. You know, there are people who God may want to come to the church now, but because of our characters, they cannot come, isn't it? God is just holding them for what is going to come. Now again, I'd just like to, 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 to read 2 SM, page 68. Again, I say the Lord has not spoken to the messenger, who called the church that keeps the command of God, what? Babylon. Then I come here to the red line. I know that the Lord loves his what? His church, as much as it appearing it is falling, it is not to be disorganized or to be broken up into dependent atoms. There is not the least consistency in this. There is not the least evidence that such a thing will be. Those who shall heed the false message and try to live in others will be deceived or prepared to receive advanced delusions and they come not to what? They come to no. not. So we are being told that God knows that still his, his church will not be done what? It will never be disorganized. It will never fall apart. That is what? That is, that is God. Now, the, the, the other things that are, that, 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 that has taken him are topics on presence and personality of God, the sanctuary. We have preachers say there is no sanctuary, isn't it? Yeah, it is being taught. And um, in fact, from 2000, those who are studying theology, most of those, they are taught by that, like that. Like there's a friend of ours, you know, it was a good, you know, they, they, they target evangelists, isn't it? They sponsor you actually. And we go there now, they say, he's miss, he, he had missed help. Uh, he, he was taking health message wrongly. Now he realized that eating meat is okay, isn't it? In fact, even this year, they, they, they've decided that uh, no medical mission, in most of the camp meetings, they are doctors. Why is this? It is because of us, isn't it? It is because of us. We have not done as we will be. So that's why we're being told that I want Seventh-day Basic Church to be careful how we receive any new notion, 
and those who claim to have greater light, the character of those, the character of their work seems to be to accuse and to tear down my brother. I will say, be careful. Go not one step further in the path which you enter upon. Walk in the light. While you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. There are many things that are coming into the church. So many things. 25, 20 and the rest. And they are sweeping people, isn't it? And, and, and in fact, after even the sweeping, they break down. Like I know 25, 20 now, there are like three more groups. Each and every time they are being split and split. And this is the work of the devil. Why is the devil doing this? Why is it happening at this time? The devil knows that this is the time that people should become what? United in doing what? Finishing. Not uniting just... Just because of the sake of uniting, uniting in the word of God. Amen? Yeah. So, we're being told that for the perfecting of the saints, now, what are we told to be doing? For the Christ's work in the ministry, for the defining of the body of Christ, till we come in the unity of what? Of faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, and to perfect man, and to the measure of the stature of fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro to be carried out with every wind of doctrine, by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in what? Love. In love. Do you know, do you know there's one person who was doing a good work, but he not been heaven? Do you know Jehu? Do you know Jehu was appointed to do what? To destroy Baal worship, isn't it? Let's read a verse. You know how, how, how Jehu, so that we continue, we see the jail preach in love. Let's go to the book of Second Kings, chapter nine. Second Kings, chapter nine. So that we continue with our, <coughs> our quotation. Just hold on. Second Kings, chapter nine. Let, just chapter ten. Sorry, let them get. Let them get. Are we there? Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do it. Let me pages. Second Kings, chapter ten. Read verse fifteen and sixteen. And when he was departed thence, mm -hmm. he waited on, Jehon, on Jehonadab, mm -hmm. the son of Rechab, mm -hmm. coming to meet him. Mm -hmm. And he saluted him and mm -hmm. said to him, mm -hmm. Is thine heart right, as my heart is with thy heart? Mm -hmm. And Jehonadab answered, It is. If it be, give me thine hand. And he gave him his hand, and he took him up to him. To him into the chariot. But we, we, we are being called to do it. To come in unity so that we can do it. We can finish it. There's so much feel outside there. I'll give you an example. If you start selling charcoal, will, we, will, will, will my client meet your, your client? Is there a day when you sell charcoal or you give somebody uh, what, what, bentonite clay or cayenne paper? You say, ah, I bought from Brother Edward. It's rare. It shows that this work. The field is wide, isn't it? There is a lot of field to, to be covered. Then he says that uh, uncompacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the what? Edifying itself in what? So when the body is united, what, what happens? There is love. You know, we may speak, Paul says we may speak many things, isn't it? But without love is what? It's nothing. Now, we must seek what? Unity and what? We should seek for the deep movings of the Spirit of God that the sweet, sweet Spirit of Christ may blend heart with heart. When we reach this union, God will not let His rich blessing rest upon us as He rests it right upon His disciples on the day of what? Pentecost. So for us to get the latter end, as they go the early day, we must do what? Unite. And when we shall be able to go forth and proclaim the message of what? Love and mercy to all nations. Not the love and mercy that the Pope speaks. You know, the devil is crafty. The Pope, Pope, to, the Pope speaks about you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The devil is crafty. The same message that God wants us to use, even the Pope himself is doing what he's using. It. If you all partake the same nourishment, we shall all have what? We shall all have what? The same testimony to bear. I cannot see that the experience of our German brethren differs from the experience of our French or English what? It will be the same, same experience. And why should there be a difference in the experience of the children? Why should it be a difference? Why should there be a difference? Why is it the time that we should be having all sorts of man of teachings that we are having? Why is it that all of us, you know, let me tell you, one of my brothers was telling there was a time there was someone, and then they decided that uh, since now we've gone to a camp meeting, let's level the chapel one brand name. Do you know everybody? 
kila mtu alikataa akasema no everybody to be selling his own chako isn't it can we come we say now from today we are selling the same chako and one name it will be very difficult one everybody wants to benefit from it isn't it everybody wants to benefit from what god wants us we do we don't want to 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 to, to have to, to have a, yeah. we don't want to have any difference but we want to want to have what difference now what is happening the evils the agencies of evil are combining and their forces are doing what consolidating this is happening because the devil is consolidating his work they are strengthening for the last great crisis great changes are soon to take place in our world and the final movement will be what rapid ones we see a lot of things are happening and we've seen i know from morning the devil is consolidating the love of our brethren is growing cold i like to rush because of time i just like to rush because of time. now what is our purpose what is our purpose is our purpose just the way we know it are we practicing it so that we see can the work be finished we're being told in manuscript this we want to it too that god's purpose is doing what giving the three angels message to the world is to prepare people to stand true to him during investigative judgment now how can we prepare them this is the purpose for which we establish and maintain our own publishing houses do you have a publishing house do you have do you have our schools do you have a sanitary even in kenya even in east africa why is it and kenya even in east africa is known to have the best med commission why are we not having even a med committee even a sanitary you know last week when after we finished the train i got so challenged another rich lady i won't mention that he gave 20 acres in current you know current do you know her in current is almost 20 acres <coughs> another one came and said that wherever you want us to buy land tell us we build a sanitary doesn't know many commissioner doesn't know anything are we working there are people who say there you know last time we learned about to do what did you learn about the books to finish the work mm-hmm. are we distributing them If you give these people are they going to accept our message? Mm-hmm. Yes. Treatment rooms do we have? Them? Do you have food factories? This is our purpose in carrying out for every line of work in our so meaning that me and us if we are don't have these things the work is going to be very difficult to be finished isn't it? In fact we receive opposition. In fact I was thinking why is the conference even belittling us? You know sometimes we let's look on the other side Do you have anything to offer? No, we, we, we may say fine, oh, they've blocked our camp. What, what can we tell? At least doctors, they can say something. We have hospitals. Do you have anything? I included, we have nothing to offer, isn't it? And if we have nothing to offer, that's why if a patient dies on med commission, it can be done what? Why? They say we don't have facilities. In fact, when last time when we were finishing New Life, I was asking, have we registered? I included is there no one registered with caps his product and it is simple isn't it how 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 clinics are being op- opened are we registered even a treatment room we are do you know if that is the way we will be arrested operating illegally isn't it the law is so simple and very cheap at the moment isn't it are we doing that we are not doing that so this is the purpose that we are having i wanted us to 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 look at us at the history but i think the time is rushing i don't know i'll jump a lot of things i'll just jump a lot of things because um i'll jump a lot of things uh, i'll jump a lot of things let's look how when when the work started How did apostasy start? You know, we good we, we look at the at the beginning, the end, then we see the way forward. How did it start? It started when the medical joined with what? Theology. See, that is what Kellogg did, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What did he produce? What did he produce? Living temple. Living temple, isn't it? I'll just go fast. He produced what? The living temple. I'll just jump because this is all history. Oh, uh, living temple. This is how the work started in 1863. We had our health reform work. This what this was what began, isn't it? 
And this is what the main commissioner was to do great work. Has it been apostatized now? Are they, are, are, they, are they Omega? What will happen? Is it happening now? Are we seeing it happening now the same way it happened? Yes, it is happening. Now, this is how it was instructed. I'll just uh, uh, read a few quotations. 1 SM 204, the enemy of souls has sought to bring in the supposition that a great reformation was to take place among the seven dead Adventists and that this reformation will consist doing what? Giving up the doctrines in which stand as the pillars of what? Our faith and engaging in the process of what? Reorganization. Has Medical Commissioner been reorganized? Yes, what is it called now? Another celebration. There's a funny name they call it. I've forgotten. It is being joined now with? With, 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 with what? Yeah? Convention of Medicine, isn't it? The same way, and, and now it is being joined with what? It has been joined with theology because now they are being told there is no salvation by plate. In the school. That's what they are being told. There is no salvation by plate. Yeah, that's what it's true. Yeah, they are being told there is no salvation by plate, meaning that they held the message you never from. In fact, one of the pastors was confessing that I wish I knew I could not be preaching health message. Now I have known how to interpret health message. That's what they are being told. Why? We don't study. Do you study physiology? No. We don't study. But we, we, we study how to heal, isn't it? Do you understand how the body heals before we treat? We don't. Now, what are the doctrines that stand as, as the pillars of our faith? And where did they come from? Now, uh, one of the things that entered Kellogg, when I first led the state of mind, what killed the medical missionary work? Just look, we see if, if the Omega is there. It was to go through Vermont and Massachusetts to bear the testimony against, against these sentiments, living temple consists what? The alpha of these theories, I knew that the omega will follow a little while, and when I trembled for our people, I knew that I must warn our brethren and sisters not to enter controversy into what? The presence and the personality of God. Is this topic happening today? Yes. yes. The same way it happened the omega, it is happening again. The, the alpha, it is happening at the omega. The statements made in the living temple in regard to this point are incorrect. The scripture used to substantiate the doctrine they are set forth is the scripture what? Is applied. Now, what happened? What did Ellen White talk about? The principle of truth that God in his wisdom has given the remnant child will be done what? Being discarded. Our religion will be done what? The fundamental principles that have sustained the world for the last 50 years will be accounted what? As error. A new organization will be established. A medical commissioner. It's a new organization, isn't it? Books of new order will be written. A system of intellectual philosophy will be introduced. How to interpret things. Now, the founders of this system will go into cities to do a wonderful work. The Sabbath, of course, will be lightly regarded as also God who created it. Nothing will be allowed to stand in the way of this great new movement. Now, this is the Alpha. I'll just go fast. I'll just go fast because... Now... The Omega will be most startling of nature, isn't it? We saw the living temple having this. Now we saw what happened to the schools. Now we are going now to the application. What happened to the schools? Accreditation. Accreditation, isn't it? What happened to Loma Linda in 1904? Accreditation, isn't it? Is it happening to every institution even now? Yes. In fact, one of the most... Even Baratun now is winding up, isn't it? All the institutions are winding up because there are no institutions of God that are, that, that are created to stand. Now, we are preparing to send our boys to hell. This, is, this, this was being won by Elder J, me and Hein. If accrediting is wrong, it is altogether done what? Wrong. Emmanuel Missionary College, Pacific College, Walla College, where it was initially decided to do it, to have accreditation. I'll jump about that. Now, this is what happened. I will not be able to go. I want to rush because of time. I want to rush how to, to finish. Because I know we know the history, isn't it? How systematic theology started about the sanctuary. We know this book. We've read this book. We've read this book. It's good to read the broken blueprint, isn't it? It is telling us how institution doing what? Did what? Did fail. Questions on doctrine. These are, and this book talks about... Do you know this book? I've heard Jenny Quathquake talking about how the work will be finished and how it was done. The first time and the complete history, how the sanctuary started, how it was being discarded from our churches and schools. Now, 
are just like all these books. Now, where are we going? When, when apostasy started in, 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 in the 1930s, regular, regular line was carrying on, isn't it? Now, what is, what is happening within the regular line? There is wheat and what? Yes. And tears, isn't it? Now, what, what is happening? The sheep is doing what? Is getting lost. Now, what did Jesus say about this? And Jesus, this is Matthew 9, 35, we'll read from here because of time. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching what? In the gospel of the kingdom, and the healing of every, uh, every sickness, and every disease among what? The people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted, and they were scattered what? Abroad. This is the same thing that was happening. He is seeing people are scattering. As sheep having no what? Shepherd. Then... He said unto his disciples, the harvest is truly plenteous, but the laborers are what? The same thing is happening, the same way it happened during the time of Jesus, it is happening the same, same way. Now, question, is the harvest, is the field the same? Yes, isn't it? The harvesters, are they, are they enough? No, they are not enough. Then he said, pray therefore the Lord of the harvest, that will send forth what? Laborers into the harvest. So, war, if you read, Jeremiah, now, what is happening within the regular line? Jesus came, do you remember, before Jesus came, the regular line was, was doing what? Was doing the work, isn't it? Mm. Jesus was both regular and irregular, isn't it? He came to warn that the sheep are doing what? Scattering. Why did he want that? He want that because Jeremiah 23, 1, war and what? Pastors that destroy and do what? Scatter the sheep of my pasture, say the what? Who are scattering? The regular day. Now what are we supposed to do? Then he says, therefore, that says the Lord of God, Israel, against the what? The pastors that feed my what? My we are being told that the churches have to be done what? To be fed. Yeah, they have done what? Scattered my flock, the same way that Jesus said, and driven them away, and they have not visited them. Behold, I'll visit upon you what? The evil, the evil of your doings, say the Lord. Then he said, and I'll gather what? The remnant of my flock out of the countries, whither I have driven them, and I'll bring them again into the what? Forms, and they shall be fruitful and increase. So Jesus is saying that as much as they scattering, they do what? There is unity. Are we called for, you, for unity? Yes, isn't it? Unity in everything, isn't it? Yes. yes. Now, Ezekiel 34, 2. Son of man prophesy against the shepherds, of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, unto the shepherds, War be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should they not, the shepherds, feed the flocks? Then he say, Yea, they eat fat, and they clothe you with wool, and they kill them that are fed, but ye fed them not what? The flock. Then he says, Verse 4, The deceased have you not strengthened? Neither have you healed which? That which was sick, did, did, did Jesus do this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Neither have he bound up that which was broken. Neither have he brought again that which was driven away. Neither have he sought that which was lost. But with force and what? Cruelty. He have ruled them. Do you remember last time when we talked about cruelty and oppression? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. The scattering and what? Yeah. Yes. And they were scattered <coughs> because there is no what? Yeah, Meaning that... The flock in the church leads a shepherd. Isn't it? They scatter in all of them. And they became meat and what? The beasts of the field when they were done what? Remember the beast is the devil, isn't it? If you go prophecy, who's the beast? Behind the beast is who? The, de the dragon who's the devil. Now, I'll just pass here. I'll just pass here. I'll just pass here. I'll just pass here. Do you know this quote about James White talking about 25-20? We know it, isn't it? Yeah. I just pass it. I just want we go to, because of time, we go now the work we should do, and then we see how it can be finished. Preach the gospel to the poor. Are you doing this? Are we healing the broken heart? Are we preaching deliverance to the countries and the covering of the sight to the blind, both physically and what? Spiritually, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the word. Who said this word? Jesus. Jesus. When he said this word, what happened to me? 
They almost killed him, isn't it? Where did he go? He went out to Jerusalem. Where did he go to? Galilee. Was how, how, what was the distance between Jerusalem and Galilee? About four days. Jan. Did he go far from the church? No, isn't it? He still continued his message. And this was a rebuke too to the church. Now, uh, I'd just like to pass. These are just similarities about... I'd just like to pass this. I'd just like to pass this. I'd just like to pass this. Because of time, I wish you could read. Uh, maybe if all these slides we are going to read, the same way it happened between 31 and 34 AD. In 1995, what happened? We know what happened, isn't it? Yes. Most of our doctrines were doing what? Were done what? Were thrown away. 31 AD has a similarity. I wish we had time to have read this just because time is going. There's a similarity between 31 AD in 1995 and 34 AD and what? And National Sunday Law. Now, I uh, will just go fast. I just go first and forgive you for that. This clock is ahead in case you are referring to Oh, it is ahead. Yeah. What is the time? We have been looking at it. Half an hour. Mm -hmm. It's 20 past 6. Okay, so I've been going fast. You know, I've been looking at it thinking it's 7. Oh, wait. Okay. It's okay. But it's good we discuss the way forward because I know most of the things. Uh, maybe if you want these notes, I'll be able to use it. Now, what is the condition of the church? Now we are looking at the way forward. What is the condition of the church? Then say this, Hosea 3 verse 1. Then say what? The Lord unto me, go yet love a woman, beloved of her friend, yet a what? Now, who said this? Who, 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 was, being, who was being given a wife? Hosea. Hosea was what? A prophet. He was being told to marry who? What is the similarity? I want us now, because now there is time we can discuss. What is the similarity here? What is an, a, 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 an adulteress in prophecy? In pure church. And we are being told to do what? How are you going to love it? It's good baby because we went first. How are you going to love it? Somebody. If you can't apply this, it will be difficult for us to finish. According to the love of the Lord, to one the children physically. Do we use these things physically? Mm -hmm. yes. Where do we get them? When you want to wear, where do we go to? Babylon. When you want clothes, where do we go to? Babylon. When you want soaps, where do we go to? Babylon. When you want tissue, where do we go to? Babylon. When you want even a candle, where do we go to? Are we prepared for the crisis? Do you, do, do, you know, do you know why we don't have seven days in banks? Do you know in the Jewish culture, money bounces seven times before it gets out? Do you know in a year how much time we give? We give 140 billion dollars. 110% or 14 billion. 110% of it is around 140 billion. Now, with 140 billion dollars, can it run the US? It can run. Do we have anything? There's nothing. But a country generates less, but it has schools, isn't it? A country generates less, and it has ministries, isn't it? A country generates less, and it has land. A country generates more, sorry, and it has all the things that we don't have. Yet, we are what? God is going to strip us naked. Now, therefore, behold, I'll hedge her up the way with thorns and make a wall, and she shall not find her path. I was applying the opposite. If if the harlot will destroy those who are going who are going to no, 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 not to obey her, how much of the Lord if we don't eat our own things? What did Solomon say? Drink out of their own what? You know we think that marriage, but you never think that physically. Do you drink out of our own systems? No. Do you know this is the time to have all these things? This is the time to set up sewing classes, that sewing classes. This is the time to, to, to have people we separate. If somebody's, do you know? Let me tell you. Do you know how, how else we can we can be able to finish the work to build all those institutions? If Sister Edith tomorrow starts to generate soaps or to, to manufacture soaps, and then maybe Miss Nyawinda, uh, she starts to to make oil. Will money go out? No. Money will circulate around us, isn't it? Yeah. 
You know the reason why we can't even create even something wrong because money goes out. We cannot have anything. If money, if if today, if today we, we, we I'm not saying that we, not, not type. I'm just saying the things that we buy. If today we say from this meeting, we make an agreement that each one will produce something. Will you not open a sanitary? Yes. Or we will not. Will you not buy that? Will we? Now, I'll just go ahead. No land of work will be more telling advantage in the southern field in the establishment of small school. Hundreds of mission schools must be established, for there is no method of giving the truth to these people so effectual and economical as what? So being told we start schools. Can we start? Do you know we have teachers? We have teachers in the room? Can you not open schools? You know, schooling is legal now. You know, a time is coming, those people who, have, who will have registered with the government, they'll remain there. Those people who will have registered maybe with camps with their products, because I know people have, I know a few. Do you know what happened? There's a time I don't know those who are in New Life. Those, the lady who owns Pure Health products, do you remember? I remember she came with the doctors. We taught her, where are the kids? Now she's, she's making a biscuits. She's selling chocolate in the supermarket. She's selling, I'm not saying that her, she's looking at business, but as, are, are we asleep? Did, when did we know these things? Long time ago, isn't it? She has all the products, but with no message, isn't it? Do you know the spiritual with the physical combined and finish the work? Do you know that? And this is the line we're being told. These are schools. The line of work has been specially presented before me, but the work is almost standstill for lack of what? So what is being lacked so that the schools can be created? And our money goes to Babylon. And then we tell people, come out of her and we eat their things. We drink their food. Then we say, come out of her. And we are drinking everything from Babylon. I am I want to go to the laundry. But everything we have, we can't tell them come out of her. And we tell them spiritually, but they ask you, where do you get our things? You eat our food. Can you survive the crisis without us? No. To provide facilities for the training of what? Teachers for the building of schools, houses, and for paying the wages of what? Teachers. If we start a sanitarium, it will shut up because we have lack of money. Because our money goes out. In fact, all of us would want to have a sanitarium, but the reason is we don't have money. Our money goes out. You know, within no time, if our money could continue like this, you will be forced even to open a bank. Do you know that? Do you know the central bank does the same principle it, 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 it had? Money was allowed. They said, let's open a central place to keep our money. If you read the history of money, they had vaults to keep their gold. And I'll show you shortly how our money gets out. Now, this we read. The work might be presented in such a way that every dollar will be drawn from our people. The money work needs dollars. I'm not by there, I'm not preaching prosperity. This is the sister way. Amen. <laughs> you may say that I'm teaching people to no no no, it's the work of God. And there will be no what? Resources left for the aggressive warfare in new fields. But our brothers in America who are engaged in the medical mission rights can by appealing to the outside people to obtain help. Because theirs is not denominational work. They should not draw their funds largely from our churches. The resources of the church are needed to support the gospel ministry and to for carry forward the work in what? Money is needed. Money is needed. Money is needed. In the last great conflict, what will happen? The controversy with Satan, whose those, sorry, the controversy with certain those who are loyal to God will see what? Every athlete support cut off. So if we don't have these things, will we survive the crisis? You know, we'll say we'll fast. Will you? The body needs food, isn't it? Will you fast for one, one year? Because the work will need us, isn't it? We cannot work without food, isn't it? We can fast few days, but not daily, isn't it? The physical body will make us the spiritual to be enhanced. Now we are being told because they refuse to break his law in obedience to earthly powers, they'll be forbidden to do what? Buy or sell. It will be finally be declared that they shall be put to do what? To death. To death. Now, I'll just jump this. This is what the mark of the beast 
Revelation 13, 5, what will be the controversy? And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would worship, the image should be done what? Should be killed. And that no man may buy or sell, save he that had what? Mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And you know their classes. Do you know their classes? The classes are rich and poor. Do you know the government now is pushing people to the poverty? Are we seeing where the poor are being pushed to the other side? The slums and the shops, these people own the middle classes, they are being pushed to them? To the poor. The problem is the middle class. Do you know that? Once they sort out the middle classes, the mark of the peace passes. Do you know that? Now. Now look, let, let, let's, let's, uh, do you know, if you want, now, question, how, sorry, this thing, question, if we want now to survive in buying and selling, we must ask the most wisest person how we survive, isn't it? Who's the wisest person in the Bible? Solomon. Do you know Solomon, during his reign, he had gold like stones, do you know that? Let's ask the Bible. Oh, uh, that one we read. Uh, First Kings 10, 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon, concerning the name of what? The, the Lord. Lord. She came to prove him with what? Hard questions. Hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with what? Very great trade with camels that bear spices and with much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him and with what? with him of all that was in her heart and Solomon told her what? All her questions. Is the word asking questions? Are we answering them? No. We are not answering them. I included. There was no anything hid from the king which he had told her. Do you know we have the solution to the current economic crisis? Do you know that? Do you know the ministry of healing gives the solution? Ellen White says in page in pages 300 that the gospel is a wonderful simplifier mm. of life's problem. Mm. Mm. Do you know we can solve the problem, all the problems like Daniel? Because the prophet tells us that as, as, as Daniel was in what? Babylon, and Joseph in Egypt, so is what? Every seven day Adventist, who? <coughs> seven day Adventist. Did, 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 did uh, Joseph solve the problem in Egypt? Was there a crisis? Do you know if there's a, there's a financial crisis and we're going to see right now? Yeah. Do you know a seven day Adventist should be at the front line? Do you, know, do you know the world is not stupid? That's why the focus is turning to a seven day Adventist thinking that those who are going to work in government are going to solve their problems. Do you, think, do you know the reason why they put Matia in there? They know that seven day Adventists will know how to, 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 to create institutions. Do you know that? Do you know that's prophetic? Do you know that? Ellen White says that all eyes will turn to the seven day Adventists. Do you know that? That's why you find the, the, the chief law, I can say the chief Pharisee in the country, who is this? Seven hundred men, is it? The thing that you'll be able to solve the, the, the criminal cases in the world, but will it be solved that way? It needs a done. Now, let's continue. And when the queen of Sheba had seen Solomon, wisdom, and what? The house that he had built. What was it? Says there? Was it it? No, no. It had everything that was needed. Then Solomon, this is, he, he, if you read continuously, he, 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 he wanted to give everything to Solomon. But Solomon was already rich, isn't it? Why? Solomon, remember in Proverbs, text after by text, he had said that we, we did what? Drink out of your own system. Unless we drink out of your own system, we can never survive the crisis. We can never build institutions that are going to finish the world. Now, First, Second Chronicles 1 13 says this, Then Solomon came from his journey to the high place that was at Gibeon to Jerusalem from before the tabernacle of the, of the congregation and reigned over Israel. And the king made what? Silver and gold at Jerusalem as plenty as what? As stones. Was it wrong to be rich? It wasn't. It was for his work, isn't it? And to the glory of God. And cedar trees made as the sycamore trees that are in the valley in the balance. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon wisdom and the house that he had built, what did happen to him? And the meat at his table 
and sitting of his servants and the attendance of his what? A what? And the meat at his table and the sitting of his servants and the what? Attendance of his ministers and what? Their apparel and their cup bearers and his arson by which he went up to the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in what? What happened when he saw what the seven day Adventists had, the institutions that that that, uh, that that Solomon had? Did he have any question, doubt about it? No. Unless we have this type and antitype, unless we have all those institutions, we're going to close the questions that all the world that is having against us. Now, and he said unto the king, it was true report, and I had in my own land of the acts and the what? Thy wisdom. How bait I believe not the words until I came and my high eyes are done what? I seen it and behold half was not told me thy wisdom and thy prosperity exceeded fame which I what? I <coughs> Is the world trying to see the fame that we have spiritually and physically? There is nothing that we have. This is the time that you need to create institutions to finish them. Happy are they, thy men, happy are these servants that which stand continuously before thee and thy hear of the word. The wisdom. Is the one hearing about the wisdom that you have? It is not in My brothers and sisters, we need to have institutions to finish them. Otherwise, soon we are going to be blocked. We are going to be done what? To be blocked. Right now, it is a shame that we cannot handle cancer level for patients. Because that's a patient in drips. Where can we put it? Maybe in hospital we transfer it, isn't it? We cannot have our own things and yet we tell Babylon is fallen. Yet us, we are part of it. How I wish that each one of us, after this, that we can have a unity. Like Christ had a unity before he sent the disciples, they in one accord, before the last rain fell on them. The same is to happen before the, the, the close of probation and the national Sunday law. As we've seen from morning the spiritual aspect, we need to stand the physical aspect. And when we stand the physical aspect, do you know the world will come to us? They'll come and ask us. Do you know last time we saw about the, the, the president of what? Of what? The US uh, president, uh, the, the wife of the president, Elena Roosevelt, isn't it? Did he come to Madison? Yes. What made him to come? Was it the message? Yes, it was the message. But what more he came to see? He came to see that the country survived what? The crisis. Do you know my brothers and sisters? We are in a crisis right now. Do you know? Do you know right now? We have by last month we are starting to pay over 615 billion to Europe. Do you know that? Do you know at the end of this month the prices of oil, the prices of kerosene, the prices of a lot of commodities are going to go up? By September the VAT is going to have to go up. Will we survive? In fact, it will be harder for us even to move out of the city. And you know the, 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 there's a trick that do you know there's no money right now? Mm. Let me show you. Let me show you how, how, how we don't have money. Just use a simple illustration using money. Now I'll use we, 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 we did this last time, isn't it? Did you use we, we didn't use it yeah, Maybe it was somewhere else. Maybe I'll assume this is brother uh, Titus. He wants a loan. Sorry, I don't say maybe, uh, I'm not saying that he takes loans. I'll just use an example. He wants loan, isn't it? And maybe I'll give my sister here 1,000 shillings, isn't it? I am the bank. Then I give uh, mama another 1,000 shillings, isn't it? Then I give maybe my wife 500 shillings, isn't it? Now, I'm the bank. I want to show you how the crisis is coming. Now, what happens when you want to keep your money safe? You take it to the bank. I want a paper. Somebody with a paper. Just tear a paper, mama. Tia Pepper, I want to show us how our money is valueless. You know, we have to go practical so that we see that we are in a crisis. I want a paper. You know, a long time ago it was butter trade. You used to exchange money for goods for goods, isn't it? Real value, isn't it? Now, deposit the money. What does the bank give you? A slip. What can you do with this slip? <laughs> give me your money. I give you what? A slip. What can you do with this money? Give me the money. What can you, are you giving me? Can you buy anything with this? No. Now, Brother Titus wants a loan 
of 2,000 shillings. He gives me the form, I give him the money. Have you seen? How oh, the money goes, eh? Whose money is lent to Titus? <laughs> Titus will, will return with what? With interest, isn't it? What do you have at your hand? A piece of paper. Now, assume this is your ATM. You come. It says insufficient. Does it say insufficient? No. The ATM is closed. Do you know, do you know, do you know what, what, is, what does that, that mean? No money. Right now, the country, what does the country do when the country is, 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 is really making you not withdraw your money? What happens if you want to withdraw one million shillings? What does the government say, Brother Titus? In fact, right now, if you want even to withdraw 500,000, what happens? Yeah? Say how you're going to use the money. How you're going to use it? Whose money is that? It's your money. It is your money. But what does the government tell you? In fact, right now it charges you how percent, which percentage? 0 0.05. Yes. So if you want to withdraw 500,000, you have to be deducted 25,000 of your money. Are you a slave? Am I a slave? Are you seeing how the game is played? <laughs> Are you seeing how the game is played? She can't have her money. She can't have her money. ATM, closed. Will you have the money today? You'll, you, you'll come tomorrow. And then you say, ah, there's no money. Let me go. Oh. With the money and interest when it sleeps overnight? Yes, they gain interest, isn't it? In fact, they invest it even to, to these, uh, what we call, these uh, spot press and the rest. Mm. Your own money. And then you become a slave. And then Titus, when he brings the money, he has to pay with interest. He has to pay, I'm assuming this is the interest. He's charged the money that is not his. And then you say, that you want to survive, Solomon already said, the borrower is the servant. Yeah. What do we have? Let me add something. Yeah, add something. We can, we can add as we wind up. And then what they do mm -hmm. is that they lend your government money mm -hmm. so that the money you lent me when I invest, mm -hmm. the government has to take money from me mm -hmm. in terms of taxes mm -hmm. so that they can pay the same loan. Mm -hmm. So the money you give me, I can't invest all of it mm -hmm. because the government will have to take it. Yes, this is, and all accreditations, isn't it? Yes. You know, right now, we, that's why we need to prepare to live without buying and eh? What is the medium of exchange? Money. Money. Which tells us, it, for Christians, if we have to survive, we have to live with less and less money. and less money. We need to have our own buses. It is not wrong. We need to have our own even banks, if possible. But I, I'll not say even a bank because our money will be going out to, to preach. Amen? It will be even staying in the bank. But the money will be around us. Are we slaves? We are still slaves. Can we get the mark of the beast easily with all the te teachings from the morning? Mm -hmm. Yes, very soon. That's why Ellen White said that those who will not use their money wisely now, that time of the crisis, it will be, it will be, it will be useless. Right now, the money is called fiat money. Do you know? Let me give you a brief history of money. When it used to be butter trade, it used to be a cow maybe for goats. Mm -hmm. Then it reached a point. Those Jesuits of those days, they saw we want to con these people. The rich man. Let me tell you all this. Create a central bank. It's good. Sometimes we suffer because we don't know our history. Then what they say? Let's cheat these people that you cannot take a hundred cows to buy a land. Let's introduce gold. So you, 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 you give your cows, they give you gold. You don't know if the real thing, but it is valuable. Then it reached a point that people had so much gold, they said, we can keep your money, we can keep your gold. So they kept the money in a place called vaults. Vaults were strong. Then one, once you used to keep money, they used to give you what? A ledger book. Like those people used to we used to bank a long time, I don't know, maybe to, to, to those things, our fathers, I used to they see my father. Post bank. Yes, my father used to have that, you go, you withdraw, and sign up. Yeah. You know your money, isn't it? No, they reached that point, they realized that people, even the banks, do you know why the banks lent? They realized that people don't, don't withdraw more than three quarters of their money. So what did they say? Since people, they had a lot of gold, 
People will draw a third, the two third they decide that they can lend. Then they lend, they lend until reach, is it 1949, 13? Two families in America, two Europe came, they say let's create the central bank system. Now they removed the gold system, they bought currency system. But the currency was backed by gold. They cheated people, look, your gold is too heavy to carry. When you have money, you can carry gold at your wallet. So the people are given money. But these people, now they are the rich people, the Rothschild and the Rockefellers. They are the rich people in the JP. No, even the JP are just the, 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 the Rockefeller, the ones, JP, they follow close. Now after that, after that, now they created the, the what? The, the, the central banking system, so they start the Federal Reserve Bank, the central banks, and the banks. So the banks report to the central bank, the central bank reports to the Federal Reserve Bank, and they are told you cannot even withdraw everything. You have to have a reserve. Now even now, they know that you keep a lot of money in the bank. I wonder if, 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 if Saitu from where County Edu will realize a lot of us, you have little money in your pocket, but more in the bank. What is that money doing? Even, in fact, even, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just thinking God will judge us that money when it's working on the Sabbath. It is being invested elsewhere. <laughs> and right now, the money that we have, the loans and the rest, you know, I know the banks, they were given the free rate to charge interest the way they want. Yes, you read the Bible. And it is going to be serious and serious. I wish we could be able to have time to show you that, 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 that right now, the last phase towards the Sunday law. Do you know it is money? <coughs> Do you know there are the five stages toward the Sunday? Do you know that? And the last one, after the financial crisis. Because Ellen White says that they blame us for temporal prosperity. What is that? And the last stage, when the financial crisis breaks, they bring a currency that will allow you to buy or sell. That's why we are going even smart. You are told that money is too heavy. Carry it within a card. Carry it within your phone. You can buy and do everything. And they can monitor how you buy, where you buy, and who you buy for. Monitor you close. So you can't go, they know what you eat. And most of us, even me included, let me call, we become fools because we even go with the bonga points. You know, that thing is evil. I wish we could know that those bonga points, we just, you, and they treat you, they take your name, they take the name of your wife, they take the name where you stay and where you work. They take the details, but they, they lie to you, they are giving you bonga points. Now it will be easy. I know God will protect us, but now we'll have sold ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like how the Egyptians sold themselves to the government of Joseph. Are we seeing a crisis? Are we ready for that? How are we going to use our money? That's the question. I don't know, is there anybody to add as we finish? Is there anybody to add? Is there anybody to add? So, we see that there's a need of our money to work in the right way, isn't it? Yes. We need to carry the money to our institutions, isn't it? And the only way we can carry is to start at our home level. Today, learn about so. These things are, 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 are they, you know, the devil is so generous to us that the bundles have become so cheap. Very cheap. Mm -hmm. And very cheap and cheaper. That nobody can fail to have a bundle. But most of us use it in the wrong. How I wish after here, we can start at our home level, our factories, our small sanitariums, our small things, so that when we, God will come, we will have something to do what? To show. You know, the world is looking at us, and the world, when we tell them that you can survive without, you know, the governors are suffering. If we can train them that you can survive without money. Do you know, do you know last week we have, when we, when we were training one of a reverend, where we want came. She was so impressed and she said she wants to call us to their church. Babylon is, is buying these things. Like the Queen of Sheba. You know the Queen of Sheba is coming to the same Adventists and it is taking our goods there in the supermarket. And it is asking us hard questions. How are you making this? How are you making this? You know when you create classes, they're the ones who come very easily and they get things and they work fast and they survive. And you know what? As Ellen White said, that there are many people who are not Adventists. There are many people who are going on, they are going to be saved from the, He says that there are many is God's people in the Catholic Church. And they are preparing. You know that? I was so shocked. I went, I, I was, uh, because I, I, I own a furniture workshop, I was so shocked that when I went to a friend, a workmate gave 
gave me, oh, I, I gave a foodie some work, the foodie ran away, so I went to finish the work. When I went there, I find an Adventist coming, an Adventist not buying soap, an Adventist making her own oils, essential oils, an Adventist making what? Even cooking oil. I was so shocked, I felt that she doing all these things and in fact she was selling she wanted to buy she, she was selling me the idea that she wants to start cutting Nanapatia the whites because he knows that the world there's no he wants to plant he's starting to plant he harvests then he puts them he cuts the way we can here then he sells with the cunning just to the to, to the rich you know the rich like good things mm -hmm. and then he says when you come back if you come with a cunning jar it is cheap I see the sense we can do the work and if we do that, do you know the world will get saved? If they see the way we can do things. That's why the message of the audition, we feel that we are what? We are rich. We are increased with? And we don't need what? Nothing. Nothing. Yet we are what? We are miserable. Poor. And we are poor by day. 90% of us, we have loans. In fact, even our churches advocate for loans. Yet we need to take them in this way. But this is the way for God to finish his work. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, the Gentiles are finishing their work. They are using their means to finish the work. What are we doing? What is the challenge that we have? May God bless us as we ponder these words that we know that if we are not going to follow these things, we are going to get lost and eventually receive the mark of the beast. May God bless us. Amen. Is there anyone who uh, you wanted to say something? Uh, I just wanted to say that we are in danger anyway. The way the world is uh, moving, we are uh, behind. I remember when I go back into the book of Genesis chapter 34, that's the pro that also Jacob had the same problem. You know, jo Jacob had been reared in the country, but when he went to, to his father, to his uncle's home, place, when he was coming back, he refused to go back to where Abraham was dwelling. And he went and bought a parcel of land in Shechem. Where was Shechem? Shechem was, was in the city. Until his daughter was raped. That when he, he had to move from that place. And remember, the, if, you go, if you go and read uh, that, and it says very clear, when, when he went to go, God told him, let us meet at Bethel. You know, I think uh, we are in the city and God is not with us. Because in the book of Genesis chapter 4 verse 16 and 17 it says uh, Esau, ah not Esau uh, Nain, okay. Cain okay. left, he, he went away from the presence of the Lord. So when we look again the crisis again and again it is as if uh, there is something which we are not getting here. And uh, this message from the beginning now until now, it is as if God is pushing us. Many of us, I think, will leave uh, the city by force. Mm -hmm. Because something must happen for us to leave the city. Imagine, count that pain of Jacob until his daughter was left. That's when now God is speaking unto him, let us meet at Bethel. Was God not in, in Shechem? There are so many things, uh, anyway, when I look at myself, when I look at the, 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 our, 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 uh, the faith which you are in, we are stuck in the city. And uh, the problem is, we are also an obstacle. What is the meaning of the name Lord? You know, Lord was the one who was refusing God to destroy the land of uh, the mini Sodom. Because the meaning of the word Lord means destruction mm -hmm. and any obstruction. So he was obstructing God from doing his work. And also we are, we are obstructing God to, to finish his work. Because you are still his people and you are in the city. And uh, as God looks at us, we are still telling him, please, we are still doing missionary work. We are still preaching. But uh, at the end of the day, we will be forced to come up by force. We will be compelled because something must happen. Remember the story of Jacob? the story of Lot, until something bad happened unto them. We need to go down to our knees and ask God, what is the way forward? Because uh, the, world, uh, even the, world, the world is taking this message and it is running with it. And that's what the pen of inspiration says. The world will take this message and, and it will run with it. 
when we are still here, may we ponder and may you understand the plan which God has for us. It is not the purpose of God for us to be where we are until now. Telling God, just wait a minute, just wait a minute. Because something must happen and it must happen now. And always I pray unto God and I ask him, am I really ready? Am I really prepared? Because when I look at myself, I'm not ready. When I look at the church, we are not ready. We are still there. Something. We need to do something. The few will stand and say, now we are moving forward. Those, I think, are the people who want to use. Amen. Do, do, do you know, it, it, sometimes I feel so heavy. We come again and we've done that. I feel so ashamed. I said, I don't know how you feel. We meet here again. We say, you call us. And we, it's still zero. We'll give testimony, we'll give prophecies, but we are still going around jail. When Joseph, there was a crisis. Did he fail to act? He acted. In fact, number one, he bought land. That's the first thing we need to have. For Joseph to avoid poverty, he bought what? Yeah. Land. The children of Israel, before they read the, what did they have to get before they read the promised land? Land. Everything, even Abraham, when he wanted to move. He asked God where he should go, isn't it? He wanted to get land. The land even a county before it starts, even a country, what does it need? Land. The great resources. And from land, then we get all these benefits. Because if we read Deuteronomy, we, we, we are seeing all these things coming. So we need, we, we, we need, we need I, I think, I don't know, maybe whether it will be a meeting or a different meeting, we need to do something for God. We need to do something. Ah, ah, ah. Myself, I'll feel ashamed. We come again, and still we're in theory. Theory, 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 no practice. Imagine biology paper. We just do theory. The teacher tells us how to put things in the pipette and the, and the, and the, and the what, and all those things, and then he expects us to pass the final test. So we need, we need a lot. Let's read a, a last quotation, an encouragement. 2 SM 368, not one who is abiding in Christ will do what? Faith or form. This is not spiritual, also physical. Did Christ solve the solutions of the day? Yes, he did, isn't it? Was he able to minister? Yes, he was to minister. Was he able to carry his work? Yes, he was to able to carry his work. Did he have missions and whatever that he was supposed to carry his work during his days? Yes, he did. Did he finish his work? Yes, he even said, I've, I've done what? I've finished his work. Paul, what did he say? I've run my race, I've run up what? Finished work. What would you if if ask yourself, if you are supposed to die today, what would you say? Would you say I've finished I've run the race? I've finished my course and I've finished the work? May God help us. And may God bless us that we may open our eyes, that we may see that is a danger and a great danger. If you have a pen, go 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 see how the dollar is falling at usdebtclock.org. Just after this, just go. Google, usdebtclock.org, you see how much America owes, and you see how the dollar which is carrying all the currencies. Right now, I saw it was on 20, it is owing the world 21 trillion, and it's generating only 3 trillion. And if you look at this, at the pace of how that dollar is gaining, I'm telling you, the crisis is so important for us. May God bless us and prepare us. And my prayer is that after this, we will have come with a way forward, not the way forward of meeting next time, a way forward so that next time we review, so that we can be able to finish this work before the crisis breaks. May God bless you. Amen. Oh Father, thank you for guiding us to study. I know there is so much that we could have covered, but we could not because, Lord, our time was against us. But my prayer is that each and every one of us can learn, I included, that there is a crisis before us. Lord, we know so much spiritual, but physically we have nothing to show you. We know the entering wage that you used when you were on this earth, you used the physical. You even went to a wedding where they lacked wine and you changed water into wine. You, you are the great resource maker. Not because, Lord, you embraced that, but you pointed the resource to the source of God. Please, Lord, I pray that after this, we do something, Lord. I included all of us, Lord, we are asleep. And the devil is, is doing his work at a great fast pace so that, Lord, he assures 
but we are locked out. But I know there is still time for us. I know something will be done after this meeting. And I trust each one of us will be able to come out of this system that is enchaining us and making us not to have the institutions to prepare people to stand true to God during this great journey. Abide with us and unite us in one accord. Reduce the indifference between us and let all of us look at you, Jesus, like the disciples who had ambition. They removed the ambition and they look at the work and the work and they finish the work of time. Lord, I pray, don't close probation on us, but Lord, save us before you come. As we close and as we end this, the Sabbath, we pray that God be with us as we start a new week, even the programs of tomorrow. May you guide us and prepare us for your soon coming. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.